SEER Engineer is one of the most powerful structural analysis and design software available. It's advanced professional level software with a revolutionary interface that will take your work to the next level. Now that you've downloaded it, let's get started. Once you've launched the software, the Project Manager window opens automatically and you can create a new project or select a recent project if you have some. First, let's introduce you to the SEER Engineer way of working. With Leading Edge Ergonomics, you'll be up and running in 75% less time. And with 20% fewer mouse clicks, you'll save an hour a day. The SEER Engineer interface comprises eight components. The 3D model space, which takes up nearly 100% of the screen. The input panel, where you can input all the elements of the model. The process toolbar, which you use to modify the model. The main menu, used for all the action-related items. SEER Spotlight, an intelligent search and command line at the heart of the interface. The status bar, key tools that are constantly visible. The property panel, where properties of selected items can be reviewed and edited. And finally, the view bar and Navicube, where you can control how the model is displayed. We're ready to prepare a simple structure. Click on New Project. Choose a project name. Choose the code to work in. And, if applicable, the National Annex from our extensive list. Then, select the materials for the project. First, you can select a grid. and change the dimensions to suit the project. It acts as a guide, but you're never limited by it. Now, we're ready to input some columns. Select Column in the input panel. Here, we can jump to the database of cross-section and simply add the preferred sections to the library for this project. In the properties, we're setting the dimensions to 300 by 300. Define the length and then use the snap grid points where we want to place the columns. Let's now add a concrete slab. Click on 2D Member Plate. Define the thickness and draw the plate. Use one of the Curve tools to draw a curved plate. In the same way, you can add more members to the structure. It now needs some supports. Select In Node. Choose the type and degrees of freedom. Then select the nodes to add the supports. We can start building our final engineering report at any stage by sending information to it. Next, create your load cases. Self-weight is automatically generated. Set up the other load cases. Let's choose an action type. Now you can add the loads and enter the force value. Load combinations are automatically created we're ready to calculate. Define the overall mesh size for the project and then press Calculate. Let's start with the 3D displacements to check the deformation. Click Refresh. If we're happy with it, we can send it to the report. The same approach can be used to view any kind of results, such as reactions, 1D internal forces, and 2D internal forces. And finally, there is our fully customizable report. Everything we've sent there is already included, but it can be edited, and you can add chapters, header and footer, styles, pictures, tables, and more. 
And don't worry if you need to go back and change the model. With just one click, you can update your report. This just gives you a flavour of SEER Engineer, but it does much more, like reinforced concrete design and steel design, advanced modelling and meshing, dynamic analysis, post-tensioning and construction stages, and advanced BIM support, allowing you to exchange models easily with commonly used CAD programs such as Allplan, Revit, Tecla Structures and others. Like with anything new, there's a lot to learn to master it. You're now ready to give it a try. Practice with our inbuilt tutorials, accessed through the help menu. Explore more introductory videos and tutorials on our Getting Started page. And there's even more in our learning zone. And don't hesitate to contact us with any questions. Enjoy discovering SEER Engineer.